Chew, we're coming at you with our first impressions on the Anta KT8. I've never checked out a shoe from Anta before, but Clay Thompson's my boy. These are clean. Let's go. Welcome back to our channel, guys. As you can see, we're taking a look at the Anta KT8 today. I've been waiting to check out Clay Thompson's line forever. I'm a huge Golden State Warriors fan. I can't believe it's taking me this long. These shoes look just really clean, but honestly, I'm gonna slip this on, then I'm gonna come back up top here for a second because the box is like one of my favorite things about this like entire release. So if you look at this shoe box here, on first, this is like the Sailor Clay colorway, so like the boat, you got a boat like just separating. In the wake, you got the Clay Thompson logo. From the side, when you slide it open, Golden State from the side. Oh wait, when you turn it upside down, Clay Thompson from the back. In the front, it tells you all the different specs from the inside. What box is more detailed than that? The details are crazy, and it's like Anta's brand. So, I mean, they're kind of right in line with Li Ning from what I can tell so far, just with the quality. So, so we'll come down here and take a little bit of a closer look at the model. So, this is the first shoe from Clay Thompson that I've ever played in. It's, the one thing about this, it's got this, like, weird rise. I know that some models have that and some don't. I think this is, like, the originals, and I think they have, like, a low top or something like that that doesn't have, you know, that taller strap. So, I'll be curious to see if, like, that bothers me on the court whenever I'm playing in them. I doubt it. I know KD had like a shoe that like went all the way up, like way up here one year. I like had a huge sleeve that went up top, so I'm, not, I'm sure it's pretty thin. I don't think it's really gonna bother me. And I think it's more so there to help with the support. So now we'll kind of actually start getting on the, start walking, talking a little bit more about the shoe. Hey, look at that. I about lost my camera, man. He was flicking the ball up to me. All right, so yeah, the KTA, the one thing I can't even spend much time on this shoe without talking about it. The retail price is up there. Like, it's up there, up there. I think 230 is what these things are going for. They're on sale right now for like 180. So I think they, they'd probably set a price and then they maybe drop it pretty quick. I don't know, but it, I haven't played them yet, so I'm not gonna talk about the performance until we get there, but I think they look sick. The design is so cool. I've been testing out some Way of Wade uh, shoes recently, and I think they always put a ton of details in there. From what I can see, the details are super nice on these, but before we go any further, I'm gonna bring you back in here. Chase, what kind of socks are we showing the people Speaking today? Speaking of details, man. Ooh, these socks are clean. Ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. we got some baller socks here. You can check those out on our website, or you can check out. The our matching room. shirt today. Very clean. Got the matching shirt today. Baller yes. merch, we got a few different designs. Make sure you guys go and check those out, like he was saying. So back to the shoe, like I said, haven't really played in any Anta shoes before. I haven't played in any Anta shoes before. Nothing from Play Thompson's line, anything like that. So I'm super excited to check them out. Like I said, the colorway is sick. The details are all there. Let's see how they play. All right, so now getting on the court, kind of putting some shots up, seeing how these feel from more the performance side. Before we do that, as always, bring you down here. What are we thinking about the Anta KT8? What do you think, Chase? It's a clean colorway. It's I love it's the anchor. I look mean, it's got a lot of details on this. The Sailor Clay colorway, tons of details. Look at this one right there, that gold blooded. Oh yeah, celebrated every second of that hey, championship. I mean, you're paying for the details for sure. Oh, you're paying for the details for sure. Okay, so the 230, the 230 is tough to leave out, but we'll go, we'll, we'll try and just look at it, you know, just from like how they feel for performance. So the 230, the first thing I guess, we actually won't leave it out, we'll go straight to it. I, I feel like sick to my stomach playing in $230 shoes outdoors. All right, I don't love to do this. What's well, okay, they're on sale for 180. They are on sale for 180, and that's that's what we paid for them. So really, it's a $230 pair of shoes, but we only paid 180. But uh, yeah, the details are are sick. But now we'll talk about the performance. So like, as far as the cushion goes, I know that you know most most of the time, I've been reviewing like you know Adidas, Nike, uh, just different stuff like that that have a lot of similar cushioning and tech specs. These I have no idea, and they don't put it on there anywhere. But from what I can tell so far. Just like with some of these movements, I'll try and move around in them a little bit more. Honestly, the cushion feels, oh, the cushion feels pretty good. It's not like, uh, it's definitely not bouncy, but the heel, like, I'll come up actually to you. I feel like the heel's got really good, like, compression. Oh, it's, uh, it has something on there called Flash Fed DD? Flash something. Is it in English or can you just not read? Speed fiber upper and then on this heel it says <laughs> it. something flash. Something something? Flash hedge. Flash oh flash edge. Maybe? Flash edge. Okay, flash I don't know what foam. I don't know what any of that means. But the foam oh flash foam or whatever. Flash something like edge that. foam. Flash edge foam. So like the heel and which is like similar to not to like just compare them, but I guess it's pretty easy to compare them between Li Ning and uh, Anta. The heels are padded again. I've noticed that in all those way of Wade models. 
feels padded again on these. So cushioning feels like it's going to be a bright spot, but it's not like at the same time, it's not anything over the top. Oh, my chain's coming out. Chase hates that. Uh, so cushion. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be nice. The support is something that just from my time playing out here so far, I haven't felt like that spot on my heel. Like you don't even notice it. It's so flimsy. If you look at it, like the material, it's just like, it's so flimsy, it's so thin, so like it's really not even a problem no matter how like it's, it's more like it a moves with statement. It, almost, it must be. It must be more for fashion because I know this. It is a little slightly weird though because they give you like ankle pads on it. They, which which helps. I think that's why you don't notice it. Yeah. Like if you were just rubbing, you would notice it, but since they kind of pad it, it doesn't bother you. Well, but now that I got you down here, we'll just finish this thing off by taking a look at the traction. What's the pattern look like? I can't even radio. I like I don't like doing it that way. It's a nice yeah. radial pattern, not, not bad, but it, I, you know what? I love that when shoes do this, they sh they're exposing the, the a foam. little bit of the, the foam that they use in the midsole. And also guys, you can see that it looks like they got a carbon fiber shank built in there too, into the heel, which is super nice. I, mean, I like it and it feels good. So the traction, so we the cushion feels good. I don't know about 230 good, but the cushion feels good. Supports there, the traction is really the final piece to, to kind of check out and like, we're outdoors, so I'm not gonna do anything like too crazy. Because I don't, don't wanna like scuff them up. Ugh. I don't wanna scuff them up. But the traction, like whenever I'm swiping them, they feel squeak, they feel squeaky. They feel like they're gonna be sticky. And honestly, like that's how a lot of uh that's how a lot of that's how a lot of like, you know, way of weight and maybe now anti models play. I'm definitely definitely gonna have to check out more of them. But as far as like the overall performance. 230 is a lot, but it's not bad. That wraps up our first impressions on the Anta KT8. First time playing in clay shoes. Honestly, this eight right here, we didn't mention it before, but we were talking, we were like, this has to be some type of significance. Did clay ever wear the number eight? And then we started to do this video. I was like, first impressions on the KT8. And then I was, that's probably what that means. But like, that just goes to show all the details on this model. Like that's gotta be something that helps it get that 200, $30 retail price. This is an expensive pair of shoes. Factor in the box too. The box is sick with the Golden State Warriors bridge and the jersey, all the different stuff like that. It's tough to factor in the shoe box, but at this point, 230, you got to do it. But the model itself, honestly, I can't pick anything at it. Of course, we're outdoors, so I'll take it inside and we'll get like a better idea on how the track. Oh, that's squeaky. We'll get a better idea on how the traction is going to play. Hopefully that's a good sign. But I mean, the cushion feels good outside, the support, no issues there. Breathable model too. So I don't know if you should use them outdoors, but if you get them on sale, 170, whew, maybe not bad at that price. So shit. So, so landed. There it is. So landed. So the, the, the heavyweights are now, it seems like you got the LeBron 20, you got the Wave Way 10s, mm -hmm. and now you have the Anta KT8s. Out of those around the $200 price range, where would you rank them out of the three? Which... Oh, that's tough. So, I mean, so right, right now, if I got to go first impressions, I think I like the Way Away 10s a little bit more than this shoe slightly more than this shoe. I'm gonna have to see how the cushion feels on the indoor court. I obviously already know how the way away 10 plays indoors. As far as the LeBron 20, those are nice. I think it's more comfortable on the LeBron 20, but not nearly as supportive. Traction might be better on the LeBron 20. That's something else I can't tell, but they're in that, they're in that range. They're in that category. So I don't think there's gonna be anything like for me to just tear apart on the shoe, but make sure you come back and check that out. The full breakdown on an indoor court, that'll be in like one to two weeks as always, but that's gonna wrap up our first impressions on the Anta KT8. What a time. Until next review. Peace.